Hi guys, uh, today in this video I will tell you uh, how we can resolve one error um, which is very common when we are using Odoo um, on Windows or Ubuntu and that is that when we try to print a PDF report um, we get one error and let me just show you. So today in this video I'm using Odoo 15 uh, which is Odoo 15 community version. <laughs> let me just show it to you. So this is settings and if we go in here Odoo 15 Community Edition and today um, I'm using IDE as Visual Studio. So this is my Visual Studio code. So let me just show you what I'm trying to resolve today. There is one very common error. So let me just show you if I go in inventory application. So here let me just go in delivery orders. So this is one of my delivery order. If let's suppose I choose this and I try to print a picking slip, picking operation slip. Once I do that, it's saying me unable to find WK HTML PDF on this system. The PDF cannot be created. So this is very common error. And how we can resolve this today, I, I will tell you this. So first of all, we need to go on this website, which is WK HTML to PDF.org. Okay, um, when we go on this website, you just need to go in uh, downloads or you can just click on here, download uh, pre-compiled binary. Let's click this. And then because I'm using Windows, so on Windows, you can select 64-bit or 32-bit. So because my system is 64-bit, let me just install this. <clears throat> once it will be installed so you just need to open this exe file here we can say keep keep this and after that it will allow us to open it let's click on yes and we say agree and then just install wherever it is going to be it will automatically install in program files and in this folder wk html to pdf and then click install because i have already installed it so i don't need to i'm not going to install it so where it has been stored let me just show you so in c program files and this is the folder wk html to pdf so in this folder, there is a folder again here in bin that is called bin and this is the exe file there WK HTML to PDF. So what you need to do is just right click here and go in properties and just copy the path. You just need to add slash bin as well because this is not uh, the absolute path. Let me just, uh, yeah, so we will just add bin because that will be the complete path. Okay, let's copy that, close that. So we just need to do two, there are two resolutions for this. So either uh, either one can resolve this issue, but I have implemented both of them. So what we need to do, first of all, the first solution is we need to go in our, uh, okay, let's go in control panel first. In control panel, we need to click on system. So system. So in system, I click on advanced system settings. And then we click on environment variables, right? Guys, in environment variables, you need to choose system variables and then click on path. After click on, uh, click on path, you need to click on edit. And here, you need to click new here. And right at the end, you need to add this path, which we copied there with, yeah, this is the right path. Because we need to point it to our exe file, which is exactly the same path. Okay, so okay, one more time, okay. That's it. So our one um, resolution has been completed. The second thing. What we need to do, we need to go in our Visual Studio Code again. 
right guys and here you just need to open your uh, odoo.configuration file which normally um, uh, definitely with the name odoo.conf so here I go in my odoo.conf which is here right guys and here we just need to give bin path we just need to give the bin path so let me just give it to you give it the bin path so uh, after coming to our odoo.con file we need to give bin path here so bin underscore path and we need to give uh, the wh uh, wk html to pdf path which is this right so after doing this just restart your service just restart your odoo service so we have already checked before that whenever we try to print this report it gave us one error or warning that it didn't find wk html to pdf so let's go again in delivery orders choose one delivery order and try to print again picking operation report so this time it's loading taking some time oh yes that's it so it has already printed our report so this is it guys um, so these are two solutions i have just told you in this video uh, i hope by using these two solutions you will definitely overcome with this issue if you like this video please like it subscribe this channel and share it with your friends thanks bye bye